Jacob here, back with another Mystery Arts Inc. video. Today we're talking Matt Mello's origin. So what are you going to find in Origin? Origin is essentially a book full of new, different, and astoundingly clever takes on progressive anagram. It's no real secret. It's not really giving much away because it's still going to leave you in the dark because these techniques are rather unique and new to Matt. Some things you're going to find in here include uh, jungle animals, uh, star signs, a couple anything divinations that have certain categories they mainly focus into, and an interesting uh, convention, I guess, known as source code that gives you the ability to divine numbers, thought of birth months, whole nine yards. Let's take a look at them right now. First thing in the book is jungle animals. Jungle animals is pretty much what it sounds like. You tell them to think of a jungle animal, you do some mind reading voodoo, and you're able to reveal the exact animal they thought of. This kind of introduces you some of the concepts of origin and Matt's take on progressive anagram work, which you'll see how it works out and kind of feels like the brain games in a way as you're doing it by Banachek, of course. Jungle animal is to the point, direct, and very deceptive as is. But later we're going to get into Jungle Animal 2.0, which actually takes it and makes it a little bit more deceptive. Guidelines is an interesting principle that's laid out in this wonderful book, and it kind of is a thread throughout the rest of the book. It's kind of like the guidelines you actually follow to do the rest of the PA work inside of this volume. So with guidelines, essentially the idea of it is you're able to divine, in a way, individual letters. That's all I'm going to give away out of a sequence. And that sounds like a very little, but it's a tool you can do a lot with, such as in the following piece where we take the original principles of origin from Jungle Animal, apply in guidelines, and we get Jungle Animal 2.0. Very, very clever. Has a few more outs to it, even which some of you out there that want to cover for everything, this has got you pretty well done. Star signs. Everybody loves them. Unless you're a guy at a bar <laughs> alone, then you hate them, because that's the reason your ex left you. No, but seriously, star signs a very popular source of divination work. Everyone has their own little star sign divination. It's one of the hot kind of holy grails of mentalism, especially the emergence of people like Peter Turner, of course, most of them spur back to Ray Grismer's What's My Sign. So what is Matt added to this? Matt has taken the guidelines principle as well as the other progressive principles and added them into this. This is not my preferred star sign reveal, honestly. I think it's really great. I think it'll work for some of you out there that are psychological guys. It just doesn't fit me. But that being said, the principles in her sound, they work and can be applied in a psychic nature, I'm sure, with a little bit of inventiveness. Check it out. I think you will find this just an interesting thing, especially if you're one of those hardcore collectors in a way of star sign divinations. I'm kind of one of them. Those of you that have paths will recognize the title Triangulation because Triangulation 1 and Triangulation 2.0 are both inside of paths. Great bang for your buck read. I highly recommend paths as well. If you really want the full Matt Mello anagram experience, get this and paths together. They both kind of complete one another. Such as triangulation coming full circle in 3.0, or full, tri full triangle, I should say. What this is, an anything divination. So you're able to have somebody think of essentially anything. There are a few uh, tricky, cool linguistics that go into this, but nothing that's really too dual reality-ish, and nothing that's gonna, not going to tie up very well at the end, where it's not a problem. I think those of you out there that want anything divination, such as Proteus, blah, 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 We'll find some real value in this, and you can apply these principles to Proteus to make it go this direction if you'd like it to. Favorite things. This is the second anything divination inside of Origin. What you're going to be able to do here is something I think of basically one of the favorite things, sports, no, whatever, colors. You do that, and you're able to reveal what it is. So the effect essentially is you're able to reveal one of the favorite things they think of, which is a really stunning direct effects. Same principles throughout the book, just applied to different uh, areas of the branching of the progressive anagram system. Source code 
is the real oddity of the book. I think there's a lot here. I just don't know. It's one of those things I haven't wrapped my brain around yet. Source code, it gives you the ability to divine a thought of birth month while kind of doing this interesting mind reading with numbers in between. So you're basically reading minds as you're, they're generating and multiplying numbers in their head. Not heavy numbers, very light numbers should add. And you're able at the end of it to divine a birth month. Really cool, really different. I just don't know about it yet. It, feel, it's, it feels cool, but I, I just don't understand it fully yet. So I need to go back and keep reading, essentially. That's it, folks. One of the most interesting, and as Ken Dine puts it, different works on, on the anagrams in general ever. For those of you that are anagram junkies, I do also recommend getting paths. There's a lot of really cool things. There's just Nintendo characters, blah, 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 lots. Uh, I also recommend Atlas Brookings, of course, Brook Prodigal, which is the first book I gave a quote that was actually on the marketing for. Hi, Atlas. Hope you're seeing this. And that comes highly recommended as well. There's superheroes in there. It's what really got me 0 to 60 doing anagram work. Even though I don't do a lot, I still do a bit, and Atlas is the one that got me going. Also, check out Peter Turner's work on anagrams. There's a phenomenal star sign anagram that I've used for three or four years now, and a lot of his work. And it's uh, Ray Saul. So if you look that up, it's incredible. Hey guys, Jacob here. Thanks again for tuning in. Really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, there's a lot more to come. Uh, interviews, product reviews, who knows else, what else, probably random rants by yours truly. And uh, kind of things that you're just going to enjoy, really. Uh, thank you for again. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can do that actually by clicking here. I'd appreciate it. If you want to see the latest video, you can see that one here. It's really good. I'll see you next time. And thanks again for tuning in to Mystery Arts Inc.